Hey y'all, hi, good morning. At least it's morning for me. I don't know if you can tell. Here's what happened. I was supposed to have a normal filming day today. Joe and I essentially have a production schedule and on our production schedule today, it says that I'm supposed to be filming two videos for YouTube, but I am really not feeling it. Yesterday was Julia's birthday in full disclosure and I stayed up incredibly late and I may have also overindulged a little bit. So I woke up this morning late. I slept in and then I was just like in bed feeling like death. And Joe woke me up standing next to the bed with a cup of coffee. And he was like, it's okay. If you don't film the videos today, we can just push them till tomorrow. And I, before I even opened my eyes, I was like, okay, but what I want to do is like have a reset. I need to put stuff away. My filming space is a disaster. My entire space is a disaster actually. And I was like, why don't I go ahead and film that so I can at least create a video today and then I'll film the other videos that I was planning to film today, tomorrow. I'm taking some inspiration from my friend Lauren May Beauty. I had seen that she recently did this. So this morning, after I finally got some coffee and woke up, I went and looked at her video and she did such an amazing job. So I decided to do some of the things that she did. I'm gonna film myself getting ready, putting on makeup, and then I'm gonna film myself through the entire process of reorganizing my space. The first thing I'm gonna do though is get some breakfast. But before we jump into the meat of the video, I should say that if this happens to be your first time to my channel, I'm really glad you're here. My name is Hannah. I love beautiful things. I enjoy talking about beauty products and sometimes reviewing makeup on YouTube. And so I have all of the detritus of that work surrounding me. And sometimes it gets totally out of control and I have to make a conscious effort, set aside some hours, put it all back in order. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I hope you'll subscribe if you aren't subscribed already, and let's all go ahead and get into the meat of the video. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera into the kitchen and just be with you while I prepare a little bit of breakfast and get some food into me. But first, I'll give you a preview of coming attractions. So this is the mess on my filming desk. Like I've, I filmed a number of videos last week and didn't clean up after them. So I need to reorganize all of this stuff and move it back to where it's stored, which is over here. The light does not look great over here right now, but I'll put some more light on it when I actually go to film this part of the video. So part of the reason I haven't been able to put the other stuff away is because everything's total chaos right here. So we need to like reset and make the space here and then move all of the other stuff back over there. And then there's a third mess over here. This table is actually usually pretty organized and it's gotten completely out of control over the past couple of weeks. This is where I keep the, the jewelry that I'm choosing from when I'm getting ready to film. I also have a little section here where I keep products that have come in the mail for review and I haven't reviewed them yet or I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them yet. And then mu much of this table is like filming equipment just, you know, lenses and, and, um, cords and, and chargers and stuff like that. And there's supposed to be a little section for each thing and everything's supposed to be in its place and nothing is in its place right now. So I'm hoping to tackle this today too. And there are some other kinds of general disorganization. Like you see my laundry, my, the drying rack there for my clothing, I hung some laundry out to dry on that rack like three or four days ago and I haven't put it away yet. There's stuff all over the floor underneath my filming space, which I really, really hate. That never happens. I usually keep the floor clear right there. And yet this spot has had all of these things piled in it for, I don't know, well over a week at this point. There's even stuff all over my chair, which really, truly never happens. Like this is indicating that we've gotten into emergency mode and that I have to bring everything to a halt and have a reset, which is what we are doing today. This is another corner of the room that has become completely unusable because it's covered in detritus. So I'm hoping to tackle this. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you about this, but I am hungry. I'm gonna go ahead and get my breakfast.
Okay, I feel 500 times better having eaten and I'm ready to tackle the mess. But first, I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup. I know the light was terrible over there, but hopefully you can see a bit better over here. This is a, a really classic, like just staying at home, not going out, not, not filming, not doing anything look for me. So nothing on the eyes except for mascara, kind of a bushy tangled brow, a pretty strong cheek and uh, like a glossy emollient lip of some kind. And then a, a very light base without uh, too much powder or coverage or, or anything. And now that I have makeup on and I'm feeling a little more put together, I'm feeling motivated to get out of my pajamas and put on some actual clothes. So I'm gonna change into like a utilitarian, doing stuff around the house kind of outfit. And then I'm going to set up the shot to do the, do the first thing that I need to do, which is to take care of the mess on my vanity. Okay, I did it. I'm feeling much more spry. And I'm gonna try to take care of this lighting situation over here, put some of these, these are the lights that we usually use just to light the background of the videos. I'm gonna to try to move them around and light the shot so that you guys can better see what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, here's what I've managed to do so far. There's a lot of space cleared out, which is really great. There was stuff here that really needed to go into my giveaway box or my backups box. There was a lot of skincare up here and I'm really trying to store my skincare down here on this cart because, you know, I just use it once or twice a day. So I feel like I can store it under here and then pull this cart out every time I'm doing my skincare. But over time, what happens is the skincare like migrates up here and then starts to pile up and it gets disorganized. So that was like a huge thing to get everything put back away here. I did some cleaning, but it's not like the cleanest that my vanity has ever been. It was a bit of a perfunctory clean, sort of like a once over just to get some dust, but that's fine. I'm mostly focused on reorganizing and putting stuff away today. And I feel like I'm ready now to bring the makeup back over everything that has gone over to the filming space and to repopulate my vanity with the makeup. My palettes all go here. My brushes usually go here. Um, but I thought of this as I was going through. I think I'm gonna clean my brushes as part of this and I'll take you along for that as well. First, I'm gonna put everything back, get everything set, and then maybe the last thing I'll do is to clean my brushes.
Okay, time to put everything away. Hey y'all. Okay, so I got the vanity pretty clear, got everything put away, and I feel like the last thing I have to do over there is to wash the brushes. But first, I'm taking a break. It's actually been, it hasn't been that long for you, but it's been kind of a long time. This has taken several hours, and I got hungry again. So I'm, I'm trying this like weird grain-free cereal. It's actually kind of good. I guess it's like a second breakfast. And I'm just gonna chill out for like five minutes and eat this. I feel like even when doing this kind of project that's not like super focused, it's important to take breaks and just like sit down and zone out for a second. And so you can get back to it with renewed energy. So I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna tackle the other parts of the room. I'm gonna do like the table, the, the like production planning table, the chair that's covered with stuff. And then I'm gonna wash the brushes last. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do here. It's not like the most organized surface in the world. This is just how it usually is, right? We, I have my bag for my empties. Uh, I keep like nail accoutrement in there. This is sort of like a, it's like a filming prep station in a way. Um, and I, I have my jewelry as part of that because I usually put some jewelry on right before I film. And then here I have like PR that I haven't figured out what I'm, I'm doing with it yet. Um, so it's just nice to have it not all piled up. Hey y'all, okay, I've finished the brunt of the project, so all of my makeup is back where it goes. Many surfaces are clean, lots of things are reset, and I'm really glad that the space is just feeling overall much clearer and calmer. I'm gonna go around right now and just show you every little space and surface that I cleaned once again so you can just see the difference, like the final reveal. And then I will finish off the video by washing my brushes. I have to say, I, I came to regret promising that. As I got closer to the end of cleaning everything, I was like, oh, I really, I really wanna skip it. But my brushes are really dirty. Like it's, I'm really, really overdue. And I just, I don't know. I didn't wanna promise I was gonna do it and then not do it. So I'm using this as my motivation to get it done. But first, let me just, let me show you what we're dealing with here. This is where I sit when I'm filming and the space is surrounded by sound blankets that Joe has put up on these like C-stands. 
And that's just to kind of like buffer the uh, the filming station from the se- the noises of the house, and it's also to buffer the house from the noises of the filming, so that people can't really hear me when I'm talking because I'm surrounded on on three out of four sides by these sound blankets, and then you guys are less likely to hear the noises from outside, the noises of my housemates as they're moving around. So I sit here, I talk into the camera. And I have this little box next to me that has just like the things that I always need or often need when I'm filming. So a little card for color correcting and uh, a, a lint roller and stuff for resetting the white balance of the camera and a little bit of household cleaner because I sometimes need to clean my hands or clean surfaces of swatches and stuff like that. I keep that stuff here, but I like to keep the desk clear when I'm not using it. I try not to store anything on there because again, it just helps my head stay clear. So when everything is back where it belongs, it's all in or on the vanity, all of my makeup and skincare. And most of my skincare is underneath there on that uh, that rolling rack and I roll it out to use it. And then the makeup is here. We have palettes, lipsticks, and in those acrylic drawers are my eyeliners and single eyeshadows and stuff like that. I'm gonna experiment with storing my illuminators here in the front of the mirror because I, I use them all the time. And that's some of my favorite makeup. I just, I really like that stuff. And then over here, I've got uh, a, another little container with just like random stuff, most mostly lippies. That's pretty disorganized. My makeup is actually not very organized right now. Uh, you know, I've put it all away, but in and of itself, it's not very organized. And doing this has made me realize that I think it's probably time to do a collection wide declutter, if only to weed out things that are really old. Like I've kind of gotten to the point where I've been doing this so long that I have items of makeup that have expired and that it's really time for me to get rid of. And I think that that's probably coming soon. Over here, things are looking much more organized. We have my jewelry and sunglasses, and then all of the other things I was telling you about before, everything contained. And this little space is looking much more organized and pleasant. I'm excited to be able to use this chair again. And I'm sure that Sadie's excited to be able to use her little cat perch once again. It fell down a week or two ago and I just haven't gotten around to putting it up yet. Also, I realize I should have said this at the beginning, but I just, I think I assume that people know that this isn't my house, but I know that some of you are new since I last talked about this and you might not know that this isn't my house. So Joe and I used to live downtown in Los Angeles and we had a small business that we were running, but when the pandemic hit, we had to close the business and we had to leave our downtown apartment. We couldn't afford to keep living there. So we moved into this house, which belongs to our good friends, Julia and Oliver. They have a baby. They were delighted to have company for the pandemic and to have more hands on deck to help them with their baby. She was only about eight months old when we moved in. So it's like a good time to have four adults around rather than just the two adults, especially during a pandemic. So this is the dining room of their house. And that's why there's this kind of amazing kooky chandelier hanging up there. Joe and I are currently living in two rooms, one of which was their dining room and the other of which was a living room. And these are just our quarters in the house. We've been living here since about five months into the pandemic. It's a strange space to live. We don't have any closets, for example. That's part of why I'm using that table with all of those things laid out. The storage situation is is uh, unusual. We have to, you know, have these workarounds. But it's really, really nice to have such a, a relatively large space to set up for filming. This entire room, which which was their dining room before we moved in, is my filming studio, and it's the biggest space I've ever had in which to film my YouTube videos. Back when we first moved in, I filmed a whole video about our pandemic transition and our plan for living here. I'll try to remember to link that down below when I post this video. So if you have come and subscribed to my channel in the time since I posted that, but you're curious about why we're living here and, you know, kind of what's what's going on, we're in sort of a transitional time of life. This entire year, past year and a half has been transitional for us, but it's really it's working really well for now. And yeah, if you want to hear more about that, you can click through and, and watch that video in which I introduced the concept of this communal living plan. I'm going to go ahead and wash my brushes.
All right, that is it y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was fun for you. I feel great. I feel way better in every single way than I did when I began the day and began the video. And uh, I'm grateful to you for being along for the ride. I can't wait to take on the rest of my work week starting tomorrow morning. And I hope that you are remembering to take extra good care of yourself today so that you can be the most effective version of yourself as you do your work in the world. 